so not something we typically get. Oh, but something I can't wait for. In the bottom lane, we're going for safety, though. We've got a support oh. last pick into the Yumi Lucian. Yeah, that's really... So this is one of the... Ready to meet three people as Prowling Projectile is going to get the slowdown. That means Chocho knows he's getting spotted out. The red buff starts. The tug of war. As Kasa has a smart available, he secures at level 2 here, but he's already put down the flag, so he can't get oh. the drag. As now in it comes, and over. That's what it could be with First Blood going to top esports. So decisive. I can't just walk in because they really have no follow-up with him being that low, so Yudong not being able to get anything done. He is coming back in, but top esports should be able to get a turret plating here. Jungwoojie's getting healed up, but at this point, it's way too slow. Is against the wall. Bit of damage, but Knight jumps on in. Disrespectful from Jung Wuji. Knight takes two bits oh. of turrets as Chocho does the exact same. And Rogue Warriors thrive in this chaos as the Cyclone to come down and secure Yu Yan Jia. Caster now caught out as well. Ruby behind him. Lei may go down, but Rogue Warriors have turned this one around. Holder played that so well, keeping Ruby alive. Oh, start the game off as Yodong wants to get busy, but they're not going to let him. Three versus two until Holder comes over the wall. He's been spotted out. He doesn't have the Cyclone, but he might have a bit of the damage as the all-in comes from top esports. Mikasa dead before the fight starts as it's a one for one. In comes 369 to turn it into one versus one. Also on the side, Knight picks up Ruby with no mid laner. No hope, it seems, for Rogue Warriors as Holder can't trade a damn thing. A double kill over to Knight. Two more kills to add to the list. The other day I said... They're going to get dove. Yodong is here. Kasa has ulti available. <laughs> Knight's just uh, <laughs> going to go on to Ruby once again to stop the back. The chains miss. Knight doesn't care about the turret shots until Holder comes in. This is cheeky. See if he gets punished for it. Forward he'll go. Flashes away. Cyclone is available with Flash. Knight might be dying here with chain landing down. Is this his deathbed? Cyclone into the air, but Knight survives until he doesn't. 700 gold over the side of Holder while Castle almost dies as well. The last chapter flies through the air. It's a double kill for Holder, who is now... Very stupid place. Now, we've got a Stinger. And building up towards the Nash's Tooth as the second item, level 9 Diana, with ultimate available again. Ah, oh, now this is... Might have been called out. Cast is going to get locked on down, dodging away. Everyone going in. Holder again spins to win as the Trisha Barrage blinds them through. Remember, Holder's the most fed member. Gets onto the back line on top of Castle where Cataclysm comes on down and Knight is still pretty healthy. The shutdown gets returned with the Moonfall, sending Ruby over the wall with a flash. The lost chapter over the top. Ruby at least picks up one, but Knight still healthy enough to re engage the fight. He picks up a double and this cat is out of the bag. Smacked down by 369. A double double. And now, Rogue Warriors are in trouble. Oh, finish. I mean, Rogue Warriors are, again, shut out of this game. After what was success in punishing Knight and Holder picking up kills, well, we'll find out how much further it goes, because Dragon's been taken down. Ruby teleported in. 369 with a great flash, now looking to re-engage the Deathgrath. Ruby jumps on back in voluntarily, but he's at half health with Holder coming in with the ult D. Can 369 go down? Yes. Big shot down here for Rogue Warriors as Caster is close to dying as well. But the re-engage makes it a one-for-one one as Knight is busy in the top side. And you're not actually proactively snowballing. You're looking towards the solo kill on the top side. He's Ruby. Yeah, I think Ruby's dead. Yeah, distortion used. In goes Knight. Moonfall down. And it's like a James Bond film. You know that the villain is always going to die. But how long as Knight jumps back, uses a flash to get the kill. And Yodan could be next, locked into the Cataclysm, but has a turret available. Won't be following up the Moonlight this time around. Ruby drops yet again. As, okay, we're re-engaging. And Yodung is the target underneath the target. You know what? They might just oh take God. both. Oh, <laughs> this feels so bad. Duo, an assassin with an early game ganking jungler pressured in the side lane. He can win out against anyone in the straight up 1v1. He could probably even 1v2 most of the members on that team. Uh, 10 minutes into the game, they have a mountain soul. I just love when we see, like, small instances About of... About to have. Yeah, let's see. Sorry. Okay, nothing's gonna happen. It's I love when put a lot of like... pressure on Ruby to where, okay, can I back now or do I need to try and distortion into this wave and, you know, clear it out instantly, then TP and... Like even now, we're looking at this. Moonfall comes in. He's 1v3. Golden, will he go? As Holder will spin. A uh, Knight still at half health though, and Holder, I think he's just gonna die. Trishot Barrage helps out the flash away because he is in the death realm as Knight's chasing up this trundle. Good night. That's what this game feels oh, like as Chung Wuji should not be here. And the Yumi will die as well. Another double, and now it's a 9k goal. Eight kills in 21 minutes. See, 
This is the the champion kills per minute rogue warriors that we were missing. Yeah, just the uh, other way, I'm sure. Is I think 369 could 1v2, but he doesn't have the death realm, of course, to make it a little bit better for himself. Uh, Ruby, that is just a clone, but Holder might not be able to take this up. The W needed for 369 as Ruby, a good dodge away. The death grass almost kills Holder. If he could have gotten one more W off, right? Mm, the rest of top esports, they picked up the Baron. Uh, Jung Wooji might be caught out here. Yu Yanja is nearby as well. And Chocho's doing so much damage. Versus two, I think they're fine. Jung Wooji has to flash away. Everyone chasing as Ruby will get to Yumi. Thankfully, there is a trade as Ruby tries to outplay. That was close. But Yu Yanja. I guess Ninja Tabbies or something like that. But even whatever his fifth item would be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just pausing because Knight has found himself a one versus two. But Yonang's kind of just caught it out. Proto Belt used. No one stops Knight. 12, 2, and 7 now. In one game. Is what In you're one yeah. game, yes. He is very close to doing that again. Seven kills is not where he's stick around to defend this turret, which is now gone. 12k gold lead. This is a competitive game, but top esports are making it look like there. I'm really disappointed that we didn't see Zed versus Zed in our blind pick at MSC. We had blind pick, and all we got was Varus versus Varus, right? As yeah, Ruby's going to die here. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind. He I'm gets disappointed taken out. that FPX didn't, that they lied and they didn't pick their... And if you're not, why not pick Malphite mid? Why not mirror it? That would have been fun. I agree. <laughs> oh, the only mirror... That's what's exciting. We didn't get that. We got blind pick for the first time in like a competitive... In how long? How long has it been since... Uh, you we... know, uh, Pawn is going to be a, an analyst for the LCK. Oh, really? Yeah. Obviously not for the English broadcast. Kind of exciting. I was hoping you'd come back to EDG. Is Let's see this game end now, because Top Esports, we've been waiting for it a while, and Rogue Warriors have kind of just been waiting themselves. As Knight jumps on in, this guy has 13 kills, and we might not see the 19 lyric, but we will see Knight destroy Holder after he picks up a kill himself. It's been okay that Rogue Warriors has survived this long, but all good things must come to an end as Top Esports wipe them clean. Oh, God. I don't know if this was a good thing, but <laughs> what's a good thing is that Chocho comes into the roster, they have no Jackie love, and they're still able to get a, I'll say a convincing 2-0. Who convincing cares about Game 1? Game 1 is in the past. Game 2 is convincing enough. Uh, Chocho had a great performance alongside Yu Yanjia. And for Top Esports, this is the start that FPX didn't get earlier on. A 2-0 to kick off the 2020 summer. And I'd say you'd argue Rogue Warriors, no, let's not even talk about now. Rogue Warriors is a better team than LNG was in spring. So what should be a harder team, mm. TS did much better than, like against, than FPX did with a sub 80 carry, who's actually not an 80 carry anymore. Even no. in solo queue, he's still playing support. Oh really? Well, yeah. That's kind of funny. Uh, top Esports taking their first bout. And I will say, you know,